enemies that dance as they attack. Well, it's not the uh, playable character who dances as they attack. No, this isn't M Michael Jackson's Moonwalker on the Mega Drive. <laughs> he dances while he attacks. Never will you see another game, probably, where your hat can be used as a weapon. There are all kinds of weird moves in that game. Uh oh. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. Whoa! Oh thanks! You helped me get up here. Okay let's... But sorry, even though you have been helpful, I'm going to have to kill you. Okay. We need to aim for that switch over there. And this dungeon really is going on for a long time. I don't know where I'm going to stop the recording. I don't think it'll be just before the boss door. Okay. Here's a switch. Opens a go and sell all the way over there. Falling now would be disastrous because the Goron will disappear and he won't say anything to you. Okay. Good, I made it. So, say something to me. If you find a place that you can see on the map, but can't reach, try playing your ocarina. Oh, he fell! And can't get up! But yeah, he's right, there's a, there's a such time in this room, actually, where we need to do that. <laughs> Silly torch slug, think it can outrun me. Of course, we need to be on the uh, on the higher part of this room, and this, like I said, can be really hard to figure out. But if we look over here, Navi's going to be Navi normally flies up. Oh, okay, Navi flies up there and turns green. So you know what that means? Scarecrow song time. But, and this is kind of finicky. Sometimes it doesn't work, but it did work that time. Okay. You can just reach him. So then turn around, look where he's facing, grab this hookshot target, and you're on a platform now will take you up to a secret room. What the oh, I jumped onto the high parts, okay. So now in another room, there's a gold sculpture on the wall right in front of us. Okay, not in front of us. Whatever. That face. Okay, there's the gold sculpture. Right, good. So now going into this room here, we're now on the fifth floor, one of those donut shaped rooms, if you will. There's another gold sculpture. But be careful, it is a very, 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 very long way down. You wanna wanna fall down there. Just imagine this, you're on the fifth floor, you fall all the way to the first floor. Right, a tricky bit coming up now. Hit the switch. It will temporarily extinguish some flames. And we gotta hurry. Hurry up. Royal Land 4. I guess moonwalking could be useful here. Oh no. Oh, I made it. Okay. Inside we get a huge rupee. 200 rupees. And I I have the urge to fall all the way down, but I'm not going to. Funnily enough, in Ocarina of Time, the maximum amount of damage you can take from falling is one heart. And yet in Twilight Princess, you can take, well, a lot if the fall was really that big. Like if you had hacks on and you basically used the hover code in Twilight Princess and you had full health, 20 hearts. If you fell high enough you'd actually die instantly as soon as you fell. Whatever. 
I already got what I needed, even though it was optional. Careful. Right. So now we have to go back in the room with the firewall that chases us. And this time, instead of going all the way to the end, we want to go to the left here because there's a... Ah! There's not an ah. There's a... Come on. Good. Okay, quickly, the firewalls come in. To the left. That's the word I was looking for. So now we're going to go to the left side. Just a simple corridor. No Goron here. That doesn't mean we're done with them. Okay, we got a, a... Okay. Whoa, camera seizure. So now if we check out this... No, I don't want to... You can see down from here. Isn't that the room where we saw Darunia? Uh, uh. Don't attack me when Navi is giving me a pointless lecture. But if we do look down, we can see the room where we met Darunia. Okay, watch out, there's invisible walls of fire here. First off, go through this door. And this is a treasure chest that will give us the compass. So let's have a quick peek. You can see there's a bunch of rooms. Uh, there's a bunch of rooms near the entrance room. Well, we can't do anything about that yet. Okay, so now we need to aim for that room on the left, on the fifth floor. So going back into the room with the firewalls. The firewalls will come out when you approach them. So the idea is to stop just before. You always come out in between these pillars. Okay, here we go. This is one of those fake doors. You can destroy it with bombs. Like that Goron said one time. Fake doors. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion, anyone? They're not marked on the map, so it's very similar. Oh. Okay. There's a fire key. Z oh, dear. And also this, and also there's more of those silly faces. Ah! It even acts as a wall. Look at that. Oh. Okay, Link, you're just being silly. Link, behave yourself. Link. Oh, at least we've got some hearts in here. Oh, oh, come on! It's nowhere safe. Oh. Okay, finally. Now in this room there's another Goron we have to bypass for the time being. So now we come out the other end. We're in another part of the maze. Oh. And watch out, the fire. Wow, okay. I'm going to slow that bit down because nothing hit me at the time. Well, I don't know if I will do that. Okay, there's a bunch of fire over there. Looks like that scene with Ganondorf riding his horse. Okay, that extinguishes the fire, but temporarily. Don't get lost as you approach it, but this is really easy. Okay, here's a funny glitch you could do. You need to bomb this wall, but if you bomb it, just as you are interacting with the door, <laughs> the door stays in place. Okay, now this is one of those dancing enemies on a mid-boss. Comes out of the fire. This is a flare dancer. Now there's several ways you can extinguish its fire. You can use bombs or the hook shot. The hook shot is quicker. Of course now it's defenseless and starts running away from you. Now, 
It's gonna keep running. <laughs> okay, hit enough times, it's gonna jump back in. Have more flames. And. Well, it's close at. It's fire actually changes. Each time it goes in. <laughs> Look at it just running around. Okay, it's gonna go back in. Oh, it's got green clothes now. Whoa! It also seems to have blades at the end of its arms and legs, doesn't it? And also watch out because just like with the dongos, they blow up when you kill them. Assuming I can do that. Yeah, watch out! That will, oh, mic bump. That will extinguish the flames. So now get on top of here. And now we're on the fifth floor. Well, fourth floor. We're nearly at the fifth floor. Okay, another switch. We'll activate it from high up. Because, well, it'll be easier that way. So just stand at the edge, pull out a bomb, drop it down. Perfect time, Link. Uh, Link, move. Okay. I was a little worried then. Okay. So now we're in the next fifth floor room, the one on the left. Once again, falling would not be wise. There's also a bunch of enemies that could annoy you because once again you're under a time limit. But let's see if I can do this. The idea is to run along the outside edge. It's narrow and risky but it's the only way really. Don't fall, Link. And we have made it! So inside we're gonna get the treasure of this dungeon. Say hello to the Megaton Hammer. Press C to smash and break junk. It's so heavy you need to use two hands to swing it. Okay, so I'm gonna set that to Y. I'm gonna put the bomb... Uh, y? <laughs> Left C. Okay, there we go. So, hmm. You know what? Now would be a good time. Let's finally drink some milk. This is seven-year-old milk, but it's still fresh. Five hearts recovered. So now let's have a look at the Megaton Hammer again. As you can see, you hold it in both hands, so you can't use your shield. Upset. Link can hold it with one hand at times, like if you hold down the R button when you're not targeting. You go into this crouch stance and you're clearly holding it with one hand. And even thrust with it. And also when he jumps. When he jumps he holds it with one hand. Okay. Pound. with Pound this thing in. So that's what you get when you swing it. You create a little shockwave. You aim for the ground. You can also swing it horizontally. But don't do it on... Okay, as a statue. You just want to hit it normally, like this, to get out of the way of the door. Now we're in, a, we're in the L-shaped room that's on the map. When you are targeting something, you, you do use it as a sort of shield, only it's kind of useless. It does the exact same amount of damage as the Master Sword, and you can indeed do jump attacks. Okay, pound this thing. Creates a staircase, but don't go down there just yet because there's a blue switch, so you want to take a crate with you. Just leave it on the switch. Okay, pound this thing. Now we're introduced to a new kind of switch. This switch looks different. This switch looks rusted. Yeah, it's very tough to pound down, but with the Megaton Hammer, you can do it. 
So now we can take care of this Goron, but first off... Oh, I don't have the Ocarina. Okay. So, just play the song of time and we can move this block. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> that block of time was hiding a rusty switch. So, pound that. We can free this Goron, get another small key. The Megaton Hammer is also used to break those brown boulders that you have seen throughout my Let's Play from time to time. It takes two hits for them. A door is hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple. But the Goron special crop won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger? Yeah I do. The Megaton Hammer. So now we basically have to return to the entrance room. But first things first. We will want to take care of that pillar in the middle of the room. And now we can. So going out again. I hope I'm going out the right way. Oh good, I this well this way will do. Uh, uh, Link, stop it, please. Just stop it. So uh, uh. Okay. Fine. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. But not today. Okay, so... So now, stand on top of the pillar. So, just stand on it, and then POW! And hacks alert! He's not hurt. So there's the boss door. But we don't have the boss key, so obviously we need to backtrack a little. We need to go back to the entrance, and now with our trusty new hammer, we can now go to the rooms in the back of the entrance. First off, we take care of the statue. Of course, you need a lock. Oh, no. Oh, no! It didn't hurt me, and then it disappeared when I opened the door. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, a bunch of torch slugs and fire keys in here. Time to... Time to work my magic. I, time to work my magic, I said. Okay, he's escaping. And the fire keys is back to being a fire keys. Don't hate me. Oh, <laughs> nice crotch shot. Nice brief crotch shot. Okay, going in here, there's another room with a like like and some tiles. Uh, a link to the past style. And there's a gold sculpture. It's the last one in the dungeon. <gasps> He's coming for me. He wants me in his belly. Oh, God. Okay, he's down. Okay, so now, yep, there's the ghost sculpture icon. Going in here, we have to fight another flare dancer. Hopefully, this one won't take as long as the last one. He jumped in already. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, of course it's gonna scatter flames around and then move around the room. It looks like it's skating. I, I lost my lock on, what? Come on. Don't jump back in. What, you never even touched on fire. Okay, green. Ugh. It's not a reptile, settle down. 
Okay, he's gonna blow up. Nice dodge, Link. Makes a treasure chest appear up there. Inside, there's nothing too useful, but I'll take it anyway. Bombs. Okay, so there's one more room left, and we would, would have explored every main room. Rusted switch, and you can already see the fancy treasure chest, which can only mean the boss key is in there. So let's open that. And of course, the Goron is going to be watching us throughout the whole thing. Look at him just standing there. <laughs> Yeah, you're free to go. Oh, I see. Big Brother Darunia asked you to rescue me. I owe you big time. Please help, Big Brother. Well, aren't you useful? <laughs> Not. So, going back in here. I guess now... It's time to take on Volvagia, the evil dragon. But not right now. <laughs> yeah, just like with the forest temple. I'm stopping right here. Uh oh. So next time on Ocarina of Time, we shall be going through the boss door and taking on the dragon Volvagia. So until next time, see you later.